Hi, my name is John Arif and welcome to my shop. Oh yeah, if you have a bandsaw, you definitely want to check this jig because this jig is awesome. I use this jig, uh, if you check my previous video, I'm making a, a, a dust collector impeller and a cyclone. I use this jig but uh, I haven't highlighted it on the video but because uh, the timing is, is, is too long. So, uh, okay. I call this jig is a multi-size circle jig. This jig is can uh, can make a circle from the small, such as uh, five centimeters uh, circle until over one meter uh, in diameter circle. So uh, this jig also can cut a circle from a thick wood like uh, maybe a 15 uh, or 150 millimeter thick wood or 200 millimeter thick wood you can use this jig because if you use a router circle jig or maybe a table saw circle jig is it's not going to get the job done so uh, i think you need to uh, check this out Okay, uh, not wasting any time. Let's get to the build. Okay, uh, to make this jig, I only use this uh, this uh, three quarter inch uh, MDF and uh, and a T track. This is about thirty centimeters or three hundred millimeters uh, T track, and I also use this uh, mini T track. This mini T-Track is going to be my runner and I use the female star knob also this M8 is going to fit like so and this, this is a small toggle clamp this is a mini toggle clamp Okay, uh, because my uh, bandsaw top table is 600 millimeter by 600 millimeter, so for this jig, I'm going to use uh, 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter. Okay, and I also uh, make this. Uh, this is for the fence one for the fence and the other one is for the stopper the width is 50 millimeter and the length is for the fence is 500 uh, millimeters for the fence and for the for the stopper it's shorter than this Okay, uh, for the, the runner, you can use a uh, wood like this, but because I use T-Track, so I will use this mini T-Track that fit inside like so. It's going to make smoother. And to glue this uh, runner, I will raise the runner, so I will add this uh, epoxy glue and uh, CA glue this is for the locking temporary lock the position so I will add like so and I will screw them to reinforce this uh, structure Now I will add this stopper. This is the stopper. So I will glue this stopper and you will see how it works.
Okay, you can see this, the runner, the fence, and the stopper. Now I'm going to make the first cut until hit the stopper. And next, I'm going to uh, marking the blade position like so. And this is going to uh, the position of the slot for the T-Track. Okay, next I will make a slot. Before that, I just uh, set my uh, tables of blade depth the same as the T-Track. So this is the stopper. So I will have a consistent uh, distance for this slot. Okay, after test fit the T-Track into the slot, uh, the next step is I will glue this uh, T-Track into the slot using uh, epoxy and reinforce it with a screw. Okay, the next step is I'm going to make a hole, a drill a hole on the T-Track. So, you will know this uh, function later. And I will drill it with a 8.5 millimeter drill bit because uh, this hole is going to be for the M8 bolt. So, this hole is for the, this M8 bolt. So, this M8 bolt is going to in here so I need a little big than 8 millimeter and next is I'm going to cut this bolt into the size that I want like so Next, I will cut this M6 uh, threaded rod. This is going to be my uh, pin for this uh, for this jig. Okay, the next step is I will drill this uh, mini T-Track using 5mm drill, drill bit. After that, I just tap it with the uh, M6. Okay, this is the pin that I uh, made before using M6 threaded rod and I reinforced it with the uh, M6 nut. Okay, the next step is assembly all together. Start from this uh, T-bolt and this uh, star knob. And after that, we're going to add this uh, mini T-Track. 
like so. So when you tighten the knob, it's going to lock this uh, mini T-track, lock the position, like so. It's not going to go anywhere, even, even if you uh, push it hard, it's not going to move. And the last step is adding this uh, mini toggle clamp. I add the support first. so. This mini to toggle clamp is going to mount on the support like so. Okay, when you lock this toggle, this jig is not going to go anywhere. Okay, uh, finally uh, the jig is already done. So it's not hard to build, right? Okay, uh, I'm not going to demonstrate how to just uh, make a circle with this jig because I'm sure you guys already uh, figured it out how to make a circle with this jig. Actually, uh, I already demonstrated uh, to make a circle with this jig. If you saw my uh, impeller uh, built, my dust collector impeller built and my uh, cyclone, I use that jig because I already make two. This is the prototype. This is when I make the impeller and the cyclone using this jig. And this is the, the new jig that I make. It's actually it's the same. Just a little bit upgrade on this uh, locking mechanism. Like you can see in here, don't have a locking mechanism. It also use only one track, one track slot runner, one runner. This is two. This is I'm using a wood and this one I'm using a mini T-track. But in this video, I will show you how to make the impeller blade using this jig and the result straight from this jig is already precision and the thickness is already consistent so uh, yeah on my uh, first video when I'm making this uh, impeller blade I'm not using this method because this method is I got idea from my viewer that it's uh, common on the on on this uh, impeller video and he said is you just need to use uh, the uh, pin radius to make the impeller so you don't need to uh, ascending more or a lot sending with this uh, method so yeah and I try it and it's worked great let me show you how okay let's say you already find the radius for your blade so uh, you're just going to draw with your compass like so okay next I'm going to uh, drill this marking this is the pivot uh, point for every blade I will drill this with a uh, two and a half uh, millimeter as thick as my uh, pivot point on my uh, circle jig Okay, uh, this is the hole, the pivot point hole. So you already have the radius. Now the first is we're going to uh, put on the first. Okay, this is the first hole, and I make marking in here. This is my first cut, so that marking should be line up with the blade. Okay, after already line up. Now we're going to type this uh, jig. Next step is make sure the blade tension is enough. Not too tight, but not too loose. And 
and after that just turn it on. You can see how consistent the, the cut is. Now you don't need uh, sanding too much. You just you just need to uh, removing this uh, tip mark because the tick is already consistent and all the fins it's already the same size. So easy, right? Okay then. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and thumbs down if you don't. And I'm going to see you on my next project. Cheers.